Thanks, John, and welcome to another edition of Digital Watch. Today, we're going to talk about the camera cell phone. How many times has this happened to you? Okay, everybody, say cheese. Ready? Oh, oh wait, wait, say cheese. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, why, God, why? Well, if you're like me, that's never happened. And thanks to the latest and hottest gadget in America, it will still never happen. The camera cell phone, a revolutionary advance in our drive to put multiple things into one thing, is the Reese's peanut butter cup of digital technology. It combines the rapid battery depletion of a high-powered digital camera with the image production capability of a phone. Already, this device is used by an estimated 80 million people worldwide, and it's no wonder. But these portable, easily concealed dynamos violating someone's privacy has never been easier or more fun. In fact, the makers of these phones actually make invasion of privacy the principal selling point in their ads. Gina, check this out. I'm sitting next to your new boyfriend. Don't you just love your new boyfriend? <laughs> Busted! Oh, yeah! I bet now you're all going to think twice about eating. <laughs> now, for those of you who are new to this technology, it's worth sharing a few tips. First of all, know your technology. You don't want to confuse the phone function with the camera function. Otherwise, you may end up with a memory chip filled with these. <laughs> And number two, always get releases from your subject. A release is a simple legal form indemnifying you from any legal action should a picture you've taken end up in a major national publication. I cannot stress enough, verbal permission will not hold up in court, as I learned to my dismay in the case of Helms v. Wong. <laughs> so there you have it. The camera cell phone, another example of technology's amazing power to improve your quality of life at the expense of everyone else's. <laughs> For Digital Watch, I'm Ed Helm.